Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Kohoroyimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah HaKadosh. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Not gonna be nothing too long. Just um, speaking on being slow to anger, you know, being circumspect, and um, you know, just praying, man. You know what I'm saying? Without ceasing as well, you know, because the days and times that we're living in, man, people are a lot more impatient and shit. They, they, they don't have no no. I mean, it's there's just a lot more impatience these days. <laughs> so you have to watch yourself, man. With people give it, you know, um, the apostle, you know, it was on one of the elders. He was talking about, man, just let these people have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even though they may be in the wrong, if you can just get away from it, man, unscathed without even saying nothing to these, because, man, you know, go for it. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, certain situations, we got to speak up. But overall, tensions, and you know, when, when you can just avoid it, just stay away from it, man. Anyway, this says two men fatally shot each other <laughs> in road rage incident. So they uh, neither one of them made it. Crazy, bro. It says two men are, are dead after they fatally shot one another in an apparent road rage incident. Uh, one of the men had two children in his car, ages two and five, at the time of the double shooting. It could have been incredibly simple, but unfortunately, we have two people who lost their lives instead. Uh, okay, this guy, 38, he was driving a motorcycle, was involved in a hit and run traffic collision. Okay. Who was driving us uh so uh, i guess he hit this guy who, who was driving a sedan mcconnell split lanes and collided with with the sedan occupied by harris and his two children harris then followed mcconnell off the freeway and into a parking lot mcconnell met several people known to him in the parking lot according to the sheriff's department harris went stopped his vehicle shouted threats at mcconnell when mcconnell approached the vehicle harris fired a gun and hit him and uh, it was like you fired a gun at him. McConnell then returned fire. Both men died after they were shot. <laughs> Stupid, bro. And this world is getting rough, man. Just right here, um, what happened, um, I think, a day or two ago, too. Um, two kids dead, 11 people hurt in a ferocious stabbing attack at dance event in United Kingdom. That was, um, I think, that Taylor Swift um, hookup. It says an unnamed um, adult male at the scene also received a non-fatal gunshot wound to his hand during the incident. The children were unharmed. Uh, it says we all get angry on the road sometimes, especially these days. There's so much traffic out there and so many things going on. But this is a great example of how things can go wrong so quickly. Right? So when I seen that part, you know, I'm just like, all right, well, let me just pull a few scriptures on being slow to anger. You know, well, the scriptures talked about how the Lord is slow to anger. In Psalms 103 and 8, it says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. That's why, you know, hey, you should be always praying for mercy from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because he, he, He's merciful, and we need mercy. We need mercy to, to make it through what's about to come. It says, um, Psalms 103 and 8, it says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. And we're supposed to be, you know, reflecting Him, you know. We're supposed to be basically you know um growing and becoming more like him so we should be slow to anger psalms 145 and 8 it says the lord is gracious and full of compassion slow to anger and great and of great mercy there you go again now here's some of the ones that i wanted to get to though proverbs 15 and 18 it says a wrathful man stirs up strife but he that is slow to anger appeases strife so that guy could have, you know, de-escalated that, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, if the guy, you know, hit and ran, you know, he should have just, hey, if he could have got the plate, took the plate down, or he was there on the spot, you know what I'm saying? You know, I guess he, he could have, shit, just called the police and um, and avoided that, so to speak. Um, Salakia. Okay, Salakia had to take a quick call. Um, But, yeah, let's get to, let, let's get that. Proverbs 15 to 18 again. It says, A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeases strife. See, he could have got, 
you know, the kids, um, um, you know, uh, deleted, man. You know, you think that he would have used a, a, a lot more sense than, than, than having a damn shootout with the kids in the car, you know. Proverbs 16 and 32. It says, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. See? And that's a good attribute to have, man, to be able to um, to rule over your, um, you know, your your body or rule over, you know, just being the spirit, you know, it's, it, that's the that's the, that's the, a great thing, man, because if you're in the spirit, you know, you you can avoid a lot of shit, you know. And uh, let me see, uh, this is one that talks about anger. But it was Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. Be not hasty in spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. See? And you know, we all have our moments, you know what I'm saying, you know? Because <laughs> people will piss you off, but you know, we got to get better at it, you know what I'm saying? And as time goes on, you know, you into this truth, man, you, you, you know, we should be growing at that for sure. Every, every little thing shouldn't just tick you off, you know what I'm saying, where you just losing it man you know because really that's that's somewhat of a feminine trait too you know women normally get emotional and, and lose it like that and the scripture talks about um being angry but saying not uh ephesians 4 and 26 it says be ye angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath you know so it's like, you know, hey, just because shit going down, that don't necessarily mean that, you know, um, anybody should be able to just push your buttons, man. You know what I'm saying? So I get it with certain stuff. Sometimes you do have to speak up, but, you know, you still want to, you know, um, do the best that you can. You know what I'm saying? Because the scriptures talks about if it's at all possible, be at peace with all men. Let's see if we can find that. Because it says if it's at all possible So hey, all the time it's not possible But you know you should be able to Work through it Let me see I don't think it's worded like that I think if it's uh let me see It's worded another way I think Lock you. Yeah, Romans um twelve and eighteen. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. See? want to live um, peaceably with all men you know if it's at all possible you know but like I said again if it's wording it like that sometimes it may not be possible I mean you know um, you may have some legal matters or something that may need to be happening you may need to call the police on the nigga man <laughs> or if a person trying to put their hands on you you have every right to you know to um, defend yourself as well you know but you want to try in the spirit to you know de-escalate and, and and not even take you know allow it to get there through wisdom you know what i'm saying and 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 also you know like i said pray without ceasing because a lot of these people man they just get up and they just go about their day and they got a bunch of damn demons and spirits on them and and they're not calling on yahweh about shim yahweh shy man and we're definitely in a spiritual war you know it's almost like watching that movie the matrix you know what i'm saying everybody that was you know that was, you know, in the outside world. <laughs> they were agents, man. They were, hey, they were, they, they could potentially change into Mr. Smith on you, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it was a good, good flick, good movie. But that's pretty much that's a, a, a you know, it, that's a spiritual movie because people are really like that. You know what I'm saying? If these people are not calling on Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? If they're not, if they don't know the true name of the Father and son, and and. and you know, they, they have to be Israelites as well. You know, that's, that's you know, 
But if they're not calling on the Lord, the real true father, Yahweh, and the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, then they, they are capable of anything, man. Because it's Israelites that are capable of anything as well, you know, that, that even know the names, you know. So, you know, you just want to pray that you're in the spirit at all times to the best of your ability, man. Try your hardest to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability. And, you know, just ask for help when you, you know, when you see things that you, you, you go wrong with. You know, because a lot of us, you know, you know, have those anger issues when you first come into the truth. I know, you know, I used to get pretty angry, <laughs> you know, about, you know, like, you know, just no nonsense type of stuff, you know, and still, you know, stuff will piss you off. But it's like, you know, the, the, the reaction, the way that you react to it should be with wisdom, you know what I'm saying? And not just, you know, blowing your top and, you know, so, yeah, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. I didn't want to keep it long. I just figure you know do something on being slow to anger because we we do need that we do need to be um reminded of that um those back to the basics and things are about to get real crazy out here anyway because people don't people they just don't have that patience no more that patience is is through people i don't know if it was the demic that done it you know what i'm saying i mean it was already shit going on a lot of road rage go on here where i'm at and it's all over america road rage is a damn that shit is like a pandemic real talk you know it's so many people, man, that's been, um, um, you know, uh, deleted here where I'm at. Motherfuckers on the freeway, bro, sh shooting out of a window at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> you, you know, and, and there's other people on the freeway with you and they just don't care. Just letting go out the window, bro. Cars tumbling over, you know. Running into other people. Like, you know, I mean, that's, that's you had to be seriously, uh, you, you know, that that's those, those are spirits of vengeance, though. You gotta have a spirit on you, man, to um, to to to, to uh, you know, take shit that far. Driving on a freeway at 80, disregarding everybody else, you just mad because somebody cut you off. Or if, they, if they didn't hit you, keep going, shit. You know. Sometimes you gotta lean on your horn though, on these people, because you know, and, and sometimes these people, they, you know, they'll make you test your brakes, man. They'll make you see if you need new brakes or not. <laughs> you know, I try my hardest not to get on the freeway as best I can. You know, a little highways, you know. I try and take, you know, uh, slower streets. But, I mean, even on the slower streets, man, people, man, they, they they be on your ass, man. They be on your ass. They mad that you brake checking. Like, hey, look, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't like riding on people close as hell, man. I want to give them some space, man, in case they stop. I, I want to have room to stop. Why would I want to be bumper to bumper with somebody, man? That don't make no sense, man. Yeah, let's get one more. You know, the crazies is out. So be circumspect. Scripture talks about that. Ephesians 5 and 15. Because when people first get up, they, they already uh, in, in a disarray. They get up, they don't pray. They just jump, they just, you know, get dressed, jump in their car and just, just speed demon on them. Ephesians 5 and 15, it says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeem of the time because the days are evil. So you can't be foolish out here, man. You got to walk wisely out here, man, because you're dealing with um, Mr. Smith's, man. You're dealing with a bunch of damn demons on people. And again, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, if you can just, you know. What's that scripture? It's a scripture that talks about uh, a soft answer. Let's get that real quick. Yeah, sometimes you just got to take the L, man. The Lord of deal. <laughs> the Lord will deal with him. Proverbs 15 and 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. See that? And you know that they said it got pulled right up. You know what I'm saying? I'm threatening the, the man. So pretty much had this other guy lived, he would have, you know, you know, he'd have been, you know, it'd have been self-defense on his end. But guess what? <laughs> it was just time for both of them to go back to the spirit world, man. Because the Lord is the one that kills and makes alive. We know that the Lord is the one that kills and makes alive. He wounds and he heals. It's a lot here. Okay, so I'm at the plantation. You know they're kind of bothering me right now, so I'm at to go ahead and cut. But that's pretty much it, though. The point um, has been made. You know we have to work on our, uh, you know, work on everything. You know what I'm saying, man? We should be growing, praying for growth. You know. Just praying, you know, constantly. You're supposed to be, you know, um, praying without ceasing. So with that, I'm going to end out. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashala, the Bible Ball.